Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So let's talk about uh, the market, right? Let's talk about the technical views of the market, uh, what's happening now, what we uh, could expect uh, at least going into tomorrow, okay? Uh, number one, really nice rally here uh, in the queues from the macro side. I, I, I think what has been lost in uh, translation with you know, with everything that's been going on, with all the headlines, nauseating headlines already to the point of like no return, um, you kind of have to like what the bulls are doing, right? Um, same news, day in, day out, um, ridiculous amounts of new cases. Uh, I heard just like in New Jersey, there was like a spike of like 50% overnight, okay? Uh, where, where I live, uh, where I live, the cases have been very, very small, um, like very, very small. Um, but from, from the county that I live, you know, north of 250 cases and, and as the state, uh, well, or, you know, well, it was like 6,000 cases, like doubled overnight. Um, so there's a lot of worry. Okay. There's a lot of worry, but what's lost in translation is actually the technical side of what the bulls are doing. And although again, I don't see that this is being the generational bottom that a lot of people are kind of hoping and praying it is. But I do like at least what we're seeing from the point of stocks going from supply to supply and demand to demand. So if you look at the last couple of days, and again, granted, you could turn around, you know, the bear case turns around and says, well, you know, the market is rallying just because, you know, we are ridiculously oversold, um, you know, ridiculously oversold. And we believe that uh, the, the House will vote and everything will be good. We'll get additional stimulus. Uh, and everything's fantastic. The bear case is obviously, well, this is a dead cat bounce. Uh, there's a lot of downside that is going to still come. We still don't know what it is, blah, 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 blah. But again, the scoreboard is the scoreboard and our job as uh, professional traders kind of trade around that scoreboard. Although the scoreboard is not going to define your day, it is going to give you some clues. Today was a very odd day for that. We'll get to that in a second. Um, so here's kind of where we are. So we talked about a couple of days ago that we started building over this 185 level. And I believe the market, I, I said back then, I, th I think if nothing comes out materialistically, we could get a run to 192. So we get that run to 192 today, actually 192.72. So we get that run. As you can tell here, uh, market stopped right at supply. The problem with this move today was it was very, very odd. If you guys, especially for all you guys who traded in the intraday ranks and trade beta, you kind of know what I'm talking about. So the Dow is up today a thousand points, pretty much most of the day. And most of it was to do with uh, Apple, Boeing. Boeing has just been absolute, just a rocket, right? Absolute rocket. Um, you know, obviously there's some other names as well. Microsoft, uh, semis have been uh, very, very strong. But again, if you look at today's tape, it was very, very peculiar. What I mean by that was when you look at, at one point before, and we'll talk about the, the spike into the close, you look at the, the NASDAQ 100, okay, the, the NASDAQ composite was, was up 300 points. And if you looked at the action intraday, right, all I kept on seeing was weakness. Like literally everything that I traded for the exception of uh, NVIDIA, and I think it was NVIDIA and, I think it was NVIDIA and Apple at that time, right? If you look at all the, all the stocks that I look at, intraday, right? This is an intraday chart. Forget about, the, you know, forget about the close, right? So that everything gaps up and started fading. Netflix gaps up, right? Forget about this. This is the last, you know, the last five minutes of the day, right? Netflix gaps up, right? Sells off seven. Um, what else was there? Uh, beyond, uh, beyond, there was a nice pivot today in the room. We'll talk about that in a second. But, you know, gaps up, gets downgraded, uh, sells off about five, six points off the highs. And you, you started seeing that over and over again. Alibaba, right? Alibaba gaps up, right? Gaps up to 94. There was a nice pivot towards the end of the day. Uh, all goes all the way down to 90. So you started seeing that all in Amazon really, really good today. And at one point, right? So Amazon gaps up and go, goes all the way down to 905. So gaps up to uh, Amazon gapped up to, geez, I think it was like nine, nine, it was up like 50 at one point pre-market and went all the way down to 905. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, 
what about my stocks, right? Like what the hell's going on? What about my stocks? So I turned around in the webinar and I said, I don't want to buy anything. I don't want to buy anything. Okay. Everything is selling off. They're putting in lower highs. I think these things are going to fade. I think they're going to fade. I, I don't want to buy a single thing. And slowly but surely, everything started playing out that way, at least on the beta side. And you started seeing kind of move by move, pivot by pivot, little by little, things are getting weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. And I'm thinking to myself, all right, we're going to roll over here, right? We're going to roll over here. Um, it's obvious. Everything's all good. And you started seeing like pivot by pivot. And I'll show you this in a second. This is kind of why this is such a weird day. So we talked about 457 to the upside, just in case the market rallied. This was in the morning. And goes 457, goes to 460. That obviously becomes the second entry. It never, right? It never even comes close back to the 460 level. So we're waiting for, excuse me, 560. So we're waiting for uh, the confirmation that never comes. And so I started putting in pivots into the room because because I started seeing weakness, right? I started weakness, seeing weakness, started seeing strength at the same time. So I said, you know what? Let's see what confirms. So weird stocks started confirming. So, you know, Crone, I mean, great move. There's nothing wrong with Crone. 584 needs to build. Uh, again, I screwed this trade up because I just don't I just don't trade these small caps anymore. But this thing starts building six, 585, confirms six, and goes all the way to 665. Uh, for those of you guys who didn't screw up the trade, great job. Uh, BYND, 68, if it builds below, can flush out. BYND, right? So here was BYND. It took out the lows, took out the 68, went all the way down to 6640s. Again, nothing wrong with that as well. And, you know, I'm starting to look at stocks like Roku, and I'm like, ah, Roku's not rallying. Okay, Roku's not rallying. This is going to be a good trade. I think the stock has a shot, you know, to, to get, below nine, get below 90. Um, excuse me, I, I put in the wrong pivot. I put in the wrong pivot. Did I put in the wrong pivot here? It was 91. It wasn't 90. Did I put in the wrong pivot here? I put in the wrong pivot, guys. For all you guys on the Twitter feed, you guys probably caught the trade. I messed up. I shorted Roku at 91. Okay, I shorted Roku at 91. It went down, it was like 91 in teens. It went down like 70 cents or so, right? 70 cents or so, so quickly, I couldn't get any size. So I wound up not covering anything and wound up taking an 80 cent loss and watched it later confirm the right pivot. I think I screwed up, guys. I think I screwed up. I put in the wrong price. It went from 90 and it went all the way down to 87. I screwed up. There you go. I screwed up. Now I know, now I know why the stock held those levels. I screwed up. It wasn't a proper level. Um, but moral of the story is, moral of the story is I started watching all these stocks getting weaker and weaker and I couldn't understand how the market was holding up. And I, I personally had a very odd day, okay? I caught a Tesla short, made some money, and then I didn't re-enter the Tesla short that went down 30, okay? I got caught, and now I see I got caught in the wrong price macro on Roku, so I understand at least why I lost some money. But the most amazing part of the day, if you really think about it, right, is how the good the bulls, how really good the bulls played things out, okay? And, and I, again, I, I firmly believe that you can do whatever you want in this market as, as far as as long as your process is being highlighted, okay? But I do believe this as well. I think that everybody has a really good, um, really good safe zone, right? And everybody trades the stocks they feel comfortable with. And at a certain point today, when I saw the stocks rallying that were in beta, I kind of mentally checked out, okay? And this is kind of what we talked about yesterday uh, on the video, kind of like being completely laser focused. And I kind of checked out and I wanted to get some rest. And I started you know, putting in pivots towards the end of the day, right? I started putting in pivots into the, the day because for me, myself, I had... I just had a bad mental day, okay? Nothing to do with, you know, getting killed or anything like that. Um, but it was the point of like, I, I felt the market was gonna roll over. It started to roll over. They gave you opportunities to roll over and then they just didn't execute it to the point that where I wanted to. And I missed a lot of plays. I really did. I missed a lot of plays. Um, and I think, I think the best way of saying it is I kind of needed a mental break, okay? Subconsciously, I think the market told me I needed a mental break and I kind of gave it to myself, which kind of sucked because if you look at the end of the day of the pivots that I put in towards the afternoon, 
really got hit. I mean, really, really did very, very well. Again, congratulations to all you guys. Uh, Netflix, three, uh, 354, uh, 354, uh, 75, 355 needs to build. Uh, here was Netflix, right? Here was Netflix exploded, right? Exploded off that 55 level, went as high as to 63. Again, this has kind of got me agitated as we're looking at charts. Um, Crone, nice move there. Tesla, again, congratulations all you guys that took the, the Tesla short at 532, went all the way down to like 512. Uh, big, big move there as well. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I had a very odd day today. And, and the question kind of going forward, right? And you could tell by even the way I'm, I'm speaking right now, like I'm, I was like literally all over the place mentally today, trying to figure things out, trying to rationalize everything. And, and some days... You know, sometimes you just have to you just have to take into the consideration that you know what it's just not going to be your day. You know what I mean? It's just not going to be your day. Um, you're going to be trading. You know, you're going to be trading. Um, you know, not you know less than a hundred percent mentally. Okay, I, I think that's what happened to me today because I, I I drew so much energy, and this is the worst part. I drew so much energy trying to figure out why my stocks weren't participating that I kind of mentally just gave up and missed the, you know, missed the, the ride towards the afternoon. Um, you know, again, I, I, I think, I, I think sometimes that we have to put ourselves in a position that, you know what, save your mental equity. Okay. You'll always get better value. And like I say, every single day, you know, as much as I think I could walk on water and every single day is going to be perfect and magical and everything I'm going to put on is going to be great. Just doesn't work that way, you know what I mean? Just doesn't, doesn't work that way. I, you know, I, I figured that out a long time ago. I don't dwell on it, you know. I, I just had a, like a really crappy mental day, okay? A uh, really crappy mental day, uh, and it, it, it just again, I, I knew no matter if I would have kept on pressing the button towards, you know, towards the day, I would have really taken a day that again, monetary was absolutely nothing to even talk about. But I think I would have taken really a paper cut and really slice my throat. And at days like this, you, know, you really have to be kind of the bigger adult, you know what I mean? And like when you're not feeling it and you're not in rhythm with the market, okay, um, just don't trade, you know what I mean? Just don't trade. Um, I, I made a conscious decision today to kind of stop trading, okay? And like obviously, I missed some big, you know, big moves in the afternoon, but you know what? I'm okay with that, okay? I'm okay with that. Um, I did the prudent thing to do. I did the adult thing to do. And as much as you know, you turn around, you see some of these candles, eight dollars here. Uh, also, there was a, there was a, also a ninety four pivot. Uh, I believe it was a one ninety four in Alibaba as well that I that I that I put in the channel as well. Uh, one ninety four. Where was it? Where was it? Um, there was a one ninety four pivot for also one ninety four pivot on Alibaba. Uh, Alibaba. I don't know what happened. Maybe I didn't put it in. Um, but that was, you know, that was fine as well. So again, going into tomorrow, here's kind of what I'm watching. Okay. I, I think a lot of people are looking forward to the weekend just because, um, you know, just because of how mentally intense, uh, this week is, um, what I'm looking for tomorrow, uh, for the cues, okay. For the cues, just a macro, um, I, I want to see what happens here if they can reclaim the 193 level. Okay. If they can reclaim the 193 level, I do believe the bulls can, complete the sweep, right? Almost a complete a five day sweep of running into the close. And if you look at charts and you know, you look at some charts going in tomorrow, there's some great opportunities tomorrow. If the market, you know, if the market behaves, look at, you know, look at Amazon. If Amazon starts, you know, claiming it's gotten rejected at the 50 day moving average, one, two, three, four, five times. If Amazon can reclaim the 50 day moving average, this thing's going to see a 2,000 two, uh, 2, level. It's going to see a 2,000 handle. Uh, also, you know, I like Tesla. You know, I, I thought the stock was going to be a short today. It was a short. I scout some short. I missed a big move. But you can see how tight this area is getting here. You know, you can see the bottom of the channel is right here. The top of the channel is right here. Something has to give. Okay, something has to give. Uh, Netflix also looks pretty good. You know, Netflix, again, if it could start confirming today's prices, you've got a lot of upside coming in. 373 as well. Uh, Boeing continues to be good. Uh, Alibaba is very, very close, right? Very, very close to confirming this whole downward channel. If it can start building above this linear regression line. So that looks really, really good. Um, Roku, I think, goes lower. Okay, Roku, I think, goes lower. And this is the worst part of it is I knew it was going to go lower and I missed, I just mistraded it. I completely mistraded it. And to watch it go down, I looked at the prices after the close to watch this thing go down $4 and I shorted it. 
that kind of was like the cherry on top of my mental, kind of my mental re, uh, re, recharge uh, for the rest of the day. So I, I think going into tomorrow, we have to be flexible. Uh, if the cues get rejected, you know, if the cues get rejected back at 193, do I think we're going to roll over? Absolutely. But we have to watch early strength for the stocks that didn't rally until the end of the day. And again, if you see where the rally came from towards a lot of the beta names, it happened in the last five minutes. I mean, when, when I saw the cues putting up a $4 candle in the last five minutes, yeah, that, that would do it. So again, how many people were putting on trades uh, in the last five minutes? So, you know, it, it looks pretty good on paper uh, what the NASDAQ 100 did, but now the bulls have to make sure that they could prove to us, right? They could prove to us after a really, really good aggressive four day run that they could live with prosperity and continue the rally into uh, into the weekend. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Again, as I always say, some days you're the pigeon, some days you're the windshield. Today I was the windshield. Tomorrow I'll be the pigeon. Guys, God bless. Stay safe. I, I wish you the best. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.